Hey guys, well, as you can see, G0602 is still intact. It's been a couple of weeks since I ran any code on it. I've been working with my X2, making parts for with it. Uh, the little machine, I, the little X2, it just amazes me how well it runs. But finally yesterday, uh, which was Monday, I received my meal from Precision Matthews. And the stand, it was supposed to be here Wednesday and the driver couldn't get here in time. So then they said they would do it on Friday. And they couldn't make it on time Friday. And so they scheduled it for yesterday. And then yesterday was Monday and it rained. And the driver came too early because he still had a pallet sitting in front of this that went all the way across the trailer and he couldn't turn it to get it out of the way to get my stuff so he had to come back and this is the shape that it came in uh, the straps are all loose I'm sure Matt had it all strapped to this pallet but hopefully it doesn't look like it was turned over so I'm hoping that it's in pretty good shape but we'll see The stand box, of course, you know, it doesn't really matter too much, but I don't want a big dent in it. So, two, two, three. Well, the stand doesn't look any worse for the wear. Uh, looks like some bolts to bolt it down. But it doesn't look like it was uh, doesn't look like it was dented up any. And uh, you know, I was kind of expecting like uh, sheet metal type, uh, but this looks like. It's hard to say, but this looks like some. At least a 3 16 plate, maybe. So, wow. I mean, it's solid sheet metal. It's a. Uh, I was a little worried that the stand wasn't going to hold the meal after I get done with the CNC conversion, but actually that stand's pretty sturdy. I think it'll be just fine. So let me get this out of the way, and then we'll try to uncrate the uh, meal. Uh, if anybody's curious, let's see. Let's get some dimensions. Curiosity. So we're 21 and a quarter this way by 14 and a half this way, and looks like we're about 27 and 
5 8 inches tall. All right, let me get this out of the way and we'll get this crate opened up. Now last time I staved all this wood and I used it for the tray of the G0602. Uh, I'm not sure what route I'm going this time. Um, contemplating going with sheet metal. <clears throat> In my experience, it's very hard to get any kind of paint to stick when you're running coolant. The coolant is pretty hard. It's good for your machine, but it's pretty hard on paint. So, anybody's got any paint that they know for sure works with coolant, let me know. Uh, because from what I've seen, uh, paint is pretty hard on coolant. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be making mine out of wood or sheet metal yet, but we'll save it just in case. Oh. -ho. Well, just so you can see, it fills up this whole box. Now let me give you the dimensions on this box. This box is 40 inches tall and 28 inches by 29 inches. So basically 29 inches square, 40 inches tall. And the mill fills up this box. We've got it in here. Uh, diagonal. It doesn't look any worse for wear. It's bolted to the pallet, so I think that uh, it survived for the most part. So we'll knock the crate off and see if we can't get a good look at it. Okay, now I've got it unboxed and we'll clean it up a little bit and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I put the handles on there and I've been kind of playing around with the, uh, playing around with the axis just to get a feel for what the travel is. And yeah, sure enough, on the Y, let me shut this door. Uh, out here playing with the meal, but Also milling out some parts. Got the little X2 running. I run her a couple hours, three hours a day making these parts. And I got these to run. But she runs good. Real satisfied with the X2. Just felt like I could use something a little bigger. And so that's why I bought the uh, Precision Matthews. And uh, kind of running through, just running through the uh, axis just to see what kind of travels I'm getting. And sure enough, I got eight and a half. 
from the end of the table here to the center of the spindle is eight and a half. Which is about an inch past the table that way. time for a tool change let's go change the tool on the uh, X2 I still have it uh, manual speed control because mainly it's for a safety issue uh, I want to make sure that I have control of the spindle when I've got my hand in here changing it I was going to convert it over to full CNC with the Mach 3 controlling the spindle, but I thought with the manual tool change, um, this was a safer bet, and it, it works good. So, all right, so I got a center drill in here. change again one eighth twist drill running out of battery see if we can get this in tool change one eighth inch ball nose I'm gonna cut a little slot Precision Matthews. Um, yeah, so it was eight and a half that way, and spindle to here. Looks like it goes about to the edge of the table, so uh, that's good. Now you can notice you got this big area right here, and I think I can cut, notch this out um, a couple of inches at least. So I'm thinking I should be able to get maybe 10 inches on my Y when I go to CNC it. And uh, that would be really cool if I can get that extra. It's not really that, the casting's not really thick there, so I should be able to just notch that out and get another two inches, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So here's the uh, Precision Matthews 727M. It's a good size mill. It's a lot bigger than the G0704 from Grizzly. Uh, 
I think it's well worth the extra few hundred dollars it costs for this meal. It's got the bigger motor, which would easily convert to a three-phase situation. Uh, it's got plenty of travel, and with the extra space, I know I can stretch the Y out a little bit, and I think I can stretch the X out a little bit, uh, so I can get a bigger work envelope. It's not quite as big as the 9x32, uh, the ZX45 series meals, um, but it's a good size for a home shop. Uh, it's not too big, and I think it's going to work just fine for me. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, we're going to figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and start gathering some parts. Uh, thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.